Hey, good evening. It's a Saturday, August 10th, and welcome back to Everyday Talk 24-7. <clears throat> Last night, I raised the issue, is God safe? And if we're able to follow the video, the conclusion was, he's not safe, but he is good. So, I think a logical question is for me to follow up on that, because if God is not safe, how is he good? Because we associate goodness and safety. But that's where we've got to think about things from God's perspective. We are flawed and finite. Our judgments are questionable, even on our best days. But Psalm 73 is the story of someone who looks around at the world that doesn't make sense to him. God's goodness doesn't make sense to him. So he's questioning it. But then as he ponders his questioning and realizing that it's not really all that accurate and helpful, actually it borders on stupidity, because he was trying to evaluate the world the way that people evaluate the world who don't love God. And you see, we evaluate life Without God as the center, without his core goodness as the center, then we wind up in trouble. So the psalmist has been looking around. He's seen the world around him, and he says, this isn't good. He questions God. How, how is it that the good people aren't doing well, and the people that hate God, they're mocking God, they're doing great? As the one translation says, these fat cats out there, they don't care of the world, and they're mocking God. But then he comes to his senses. And so I'm going to pick up in verse 21, where the, the psalmist, Asaph, says this. When he realized about his foolish thoughts, then I realized that my heart was bitter. I was all torn up inside. I was so foolish and ignorant. I must have seemed like a senseless animal, a brute beast before you. But then it says, Yet I still belong to you. You hold, by my, you hold my right hand. Even when it's foolish thoughts, he realized he still belonged to God. Notice the image of the thumbnail tonight. I'm going to bring that up right now. And his words here in verse 23, Yet I still belong to you. Even though I was like, see, like a senseless brute beast before you, you hold my right hand. You see this tiger mom on the screen, and she's carrying this little guy, little cub. He doesn't look particularly happy. But two questions. Is there any doubt that this tiger mom is not safe? She's not safe at all. She's dangerous. But... Is she good? And ultimately, in her goodness, is this little cub safe? And even though he's not very happy, there's no safer place, no better place for him to be. Yet, I still belong to you. He belongs to his mom. You hold my right hand. She's got him held safely and secure. You guide me with your counsel leading me to a glorious destiny. Whom am I in heaven but you? <clears throat> I desire you more than anything on earth. My health may fail, my spirit may grow weak, but God remains the strength of my heart. He is mine forever, my portion forever. See the beautiful imagery there. There's this little tiger cub in his mom's mouth which is not a safe place at all, except her intentions are to care for her little cub. God is the raging lion, the fierce tigress. To his enemies, he's not safe. But to those whom he loves, he could not be any more careful and protective. So that's, that's how God cannot be safe, but he is good. 
Then he, the psalmist finishes this. Those who desert him will perish. That's the dangerous part. For you destroy those who abandon you. Not safe. But as for me, how good is it to be near God? As one translation says, the nearness of God is my good. I have made the sovereign Lord my, my refuge, my shelter. And I will tell everyone about the wonder, wonderful things that you do. We're like that little tiger cub. Sometimes not a whole lot more sense than he has. Maybe less. But he's safe in the secure jaws of his mother, which to anyone else is sheer terror. That's the image we want to hang on to. Our God is powerful. He's dangerous. To those who attack him, he's not safe. But to those whom Jesus has purchased, to those whom Jesus has paid for our sins, has cared for us, she nurtures us. God nurtures us. Just like that tiger mom, she's nurturing her child. God is nurturing us, caring for us, protecting us. Even at times we're not very happy about it. It's what he's doing. God's not safe. But this is how he is good. Because he cares for us. And he, he's our sovereign Lord. So with the psalmist, with Asaph. But as for me, the nearness of God is my good. I have made the sovereign Lord my refuge. Meditate on these things. Look at Psalm 73. I pray you have a blessed Lord's Day tomorrow and uh, look forward to being with you on Monday. And Lord willing, we'll be back outside. You have a great evening, a great Lord's Day. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.